what I want to do in this video is order these fractions from least to greatest. And the easiest way, and the way that I think we'll, uh, we can be sure we'll get the right answer here, is to find a common denominator. Because if we don't find a common denominator, these fractions are really hard to compare. 4 ninths versus 3 fourths versus 4 fifths, 11 twelfths, 13 fifteenths. You can try to estimate them, but what you can get a very, you, you'll, you'll be able to directly compare them if, you, if they all had the same denominator. So the trick here, or at least the first trick here, is to try to find that common denominator. And there's many ways to do it. You could just pick one of these numbers and keep taking, keep taking its multiples and find that multiple that is divisible by all the rest. Another way to do it is look at the prime factorization of each of these numbers. And then, and then the least common multiple of them will have to have at least all of those prime numbers in it. It has to be composed of all of these numbers. So let's do it that second way. And then let's verify that it, it definitely is divisible. So 9 is the same thing as 3 times 3. So our least common multiple, our least common multiple is going to have at least 1 3 times 3 in it. And then 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So we're going to also have to have a 2 times 2 in our prime factorization of our least common multiple. 5 is a prime number. So we're going to need to have a 5 in there. And then 12, 12, I'm going to do that in yellow. 12 is the same thing as 2 times 6, which is the same thing as 2 times 3. And so in, in our least common multiple, we have to have two twos, but we already have two twos right over here from our four, and we already have one three. We already have one three right over here. Another way to think about it is something that is divisible by both nine and four is going to be divisible by 12, because you're going to have the two twos and you're going to have that one three right over there. And then finally, we need to be divisible by 15's prime factors. So let's look at 15's prime factors. 15 is the same thing as 3 times 5. So once again, this number right over here already has a 3 in it, and it already has a 5 in it. So we're cool for 15, for 12, and obviously for the rest of them. So this is our least common multiple, and we can just take this product. And so this is going to be equal to 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 36 times 5. 36 times 5. You could do that in your head if you like, but I'll do it on the side just in case. 36 times 5, just so that we don't mess up. 6 times 5 is 6 times 5 is 30. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3 is 180. So our least common multiple is 180. So we want to rewrite all of these fractions with 180 in the denominator. So this first fraction, 4 ninths, is what over 180? To go from 9 to 180, we had to multiply the denominator by 20. So let me, let me do it this way. Let me, so if we do 4 over 9, to get the denominator of 9 to be, to be 180, you have to multiply it by 20. And since we don't want to change the value of the fraction, we should also multiply the 4 by 20. So we're just really multiplying by 20 over 20. And so 4 ninths is going to be the same thing as 80, 80 over 180. Now let's do the same thing for 3 fourths. 3 over 4. Well, what do we have to multiply the denominator by to get us to 180? So it looks like 45. You could divide 4 into 180 to figure that out. But if you take 4 times, 4 times 45, 4 times 40 is 160. 4 times 5 is 20. You add them up, you get 180. So if you multiply the denominator by 45, you also have to multiply the numerator by 45. 3 times 45 is 120 plus 15. So it's 135. 135. And the denominator here is 100, 180. Now let's do 4 fifths. 4 over 5. To get 5, to get the denominator to be 180, what do you have to multiply 5 by? So 5, let's see, if you multiply 5 by 30, you'll, have, you'll get to 150, but you have to, then you have another 30. So you have to multiply it. Oh, actually, we know it right over here. You have to multiply it by 36. Multiply by 36. Well, then you have to multiply the numerator by 36 as well. And so our denominator is going to be 180. Our numerator, 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 6 is 24, so it's 144 over 180. And then we have only two more to do. So we have our 11 twelfths. 11 over 12 is, so to get the denominator to be 180, we have to multiply 12 by, 
So 12 times 10 is 120, and then you have 60 left, so you have to multiply it by 15. 15 in the denominator and 15 in the numerator. And so this gives us, the denominator gives us 180. And 11 times 15, so 10 times 15 is 150, and then you have one more 15, so it's going to be 165. 165. And then finally, we have 13 fifteenths. We have 13, 13 fifteenths. To get to our denominator to be 180, you have to multiply it by 12. We already figured out that 12 times 15 is 180. You have to multiply it by 12. That'll give us 180 in the denominator. And so you have to also multiply the numerator by 12 so that we don't change the value of the fraction. We know 12 times 12 is 144. You can put one more 12 in there, you get 156. Did I do that right? 12 plus 144 is going to be 156. So we've rewritten each of these, each of these fractions with, a new, with that new common denominator of 180. And now it's very easy to compare them. You really just have to look at the numerators. So the smallest of the numerators is this 80 right over here. So 4 ninths is the smallest. 4 ninths is the least of these numbers. So let me just write it over here. So this is our ordering. We have 4 ninths comes first, which is the same thing as 80 over 180. Let me write it both ways. 80 over 180. Then the next smallest number looks like it's this 135 right over here. So then our next one is going to be the 135. I want to do it in that same color. The next one is going to be that 135 over 180, which is the same thing as 3 fourths, which is the same thing as 3 fourths. And then the next one is going to be, let's see, we have the 144 over 180. So this is going to be the 144 over 180, which is the same thing as 4 fifths. And then finally, or we, actually we have two more, then the next is this 156 over 180. So then we have our 156 over 180, which is the same thing as 13 fifteenths. 13 over 15. And then we have one left over, the 165 over 180, which is the same thing. So we, I want to do that in yellow. We have our 165 over 180, which is the same thing as 11 twelfths, which is the same thing as 11 twelfths. And we're done. We have finished, we have finished our ordering. So this is, if you're doing the Khan Academy module on this, you would, this is what you would input into, into that little box there.